Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and welcome to today's video where I have a brand new limited edition shade of Lisa Eldridge lipsticks to try and I'm also going to be sharing comparison swatches <laughs> with the mini Lisa Eldridge lipsticks that I have to see if we have something similar, whether you can pass on this one if you already have it. So if that sounds good to you, then keep watching. Okay, so Lisa Eldridge has released a brand new and limited edition Edition, you have been warned. Shade of her True Velvet Matte Lipsticks. If you are not familiar with this formula, it is the creamiest, most velvety, opaque, full pigment lip formula there is out there. Very, very comfortable, very long wearing, excellent, exceptional even shade range color offering very coveted formula my absolute favorite matte formula that is not a liquid lipstick sucking life sucker it's a bullet matte comfortable but still very long wearing lipstick formula it's the best of the best as you saw in the intro i have very very many of them and those are just the ones that are kind of in this sort of color family from the matte formula so once we've tried this one on and seen how it looks on me and how to look at the the shade and everything i will share lots of comparisons to all of the shades that i have in my collection that are even close so you can see whether you have something similar or something that you might prefer or if you already have you know pretty much this lipstick covered i will be sharing that with you after we've tried this one on. So this is Velvet Bloom and it is described by Lisa as a flourishing nuanced pink red inspired by the roughed blooms of an azalea. Pat on with fingertips for a fresh summer flush or wear as a full power pout. Initially this shade was exclusively available at Selfridges where Lisa now has a full-on counter of dreams that you can go in and see and try all of her products. It was like given away I think to the first 100 customers when that shop open shop within a shop opened it was kind of a gift with purchase and it was a brand new exclusive shade it is now available on Lisa's website and Selfridges as well as and it can be stocked in any of her within Selfridges counters. So we can now get our little greeny mitts on it because I was concerned, okay? I thought I was gonna have to like go to London <laughs> to get it, but thank goodness she heard our cries and now we can get it online. She did also release a matching lip liner, which I didn't get because I have so many of her lip liners. They are my favorite formula of lip liner. If you ever want to know what the best, the best lip liner, formula is it's lisa eldridge okay hands down very long wearing very creamy exceptional color range again just like the lipsticks so she does have a matching lip liner if you know that is your cup of tea if that is your bag but i have several and they're so pigmented these lipsticks that you really don't need a liner other than you know if you want a bit of help to get a very crisp line it's highly possible that i may go back and get the liner if i really love this lipstick but i have so many lisa lipsticks so many liners and you know i feel like a lot a lot of Lisa's liners are very versatile and you can kind of use them with multiple different lipsticks depending on the effect that you want. So I have a few shades that I thought might work with this lipstick. I have Sorcery, Rain, Cinnabar and Enchantment. So I just really thought that I would try these first and if I felt like I needed the exact matching liner, I can always go back and get that. So this is Sorcery, definitely more of a brown, more of a nude, but you know, could work with a bit of blending. Then we have Rain, which I think will work quite nicely. Same goes for Cinnabar. I think that could work as well. And then Enchantment. So let's swatch the lipstick next door. Yep, yeah, I think Enchantment or Cinnabar is probably going to work perfectly. I think, you know, if you wanted something a bit more of a, a look, a bit more of a contrast than sorcery might work. I think rain is going to be a little too light. Like typically you want a bit of a deeper liner than your lipstick. But yes, I think I will try it with enchantment, but let's try it on its own first. I mean, the one swipe full on color is a madness. You 
you know, they're so pigmented that even with a really quite sort of rich, deep shade like this, it really is easy to get, you know, a nice crisp application without much effort whatsoever. I see Lisa quite often and I'm 100% a big fan of doing this, using a liner after your lipstick just to neaten up edges. But I think because I want to see how Enchantment Liner works with it, you know, applied first and how the lipstick blends with the colour, I'm going to take this off and then we'll see it with the liner. But this is such a pretty shade. I feel like all of Lisa's red shades are so cleverly done with the tones and the undertones in there. Even though most reds are sort of said that's one of the drawbacks, you know, red lipstick can really make your teeth look yellow. Lisa's don't ever do that. They make your teeth look bright white somehow. I don't know what magic she's doing over there, but it's exceptional. Such a beautiful shade. You know, with Lisa's really bright, really intense lipsticks, I'm always a little scared of them, but they are always so much more wearable than and flattering than you maybe expect them to be if you're a little scared of color if you're a little scared of sort of brighter or richer deeper shades start with elisa eldridge they're always so flattering and so much more wearable than you expect okay so let's use a bit of enchantment liner Such a beautiful liner formula. I mean, she works stunningly beautifully together. Absolutely perfect. I'm more than happy with that combination. So I feel like I can use that one and not need the exact liner. You know, Lisa's liners, they're so versatile. You can really mix and match them with the lipsticks perfectly. Such a beautiful shade. She does these shades so incredibly well, like nobody else. You can see the wear of her liners, utterly amazing. Now these mattes are not completely 100% bulletproof. You will get a slight bit of transfer, but I mean, this is obviously after I've just applied it. So you'll get a little less once, you know, it's dried down, but they are not like bulletproof non-transferring. So they are more comfortable, but still very long wearing, you know, through dinner and everything, they're only going to like get very slightly faded in a very beautiful way. You know, they don't just disappear from the center of your mouth or start flaking or anything like that. A gorgeous formula. And this is such a beautiful shade. I feel like quite a versatile shade as well. Like you could wear this all year round. It's kind of, could be, you know, festive and Christmassy, but is also sort of verging on like a little bit of brightness that works for summer as well. Gorgeous. Do we want to see it with a gloss? <laughs> Why not while we're here? You know, let's tick all of the boxes. So I'm going to apply the, what shade is this? The Dancing Rose Gloss, the stunning, reflective, beautiful gloss. <laughs> oh my. I always wipe the wand off if I've used this over a color before I put it back in the tube so that I don't mess up the gloss. Oh. That is a match made in heaven, isn't it? I wish I'd had this shade for holiday. Stunning. This has like really made it summery now for me. Gorgeous. Always getting it on my teeth, of course. Okay, so yes, I've changed. <laughs> Don't ask. I may have already filmed this and been mistaken or thought I filmed this and was in fact mistaken and in fact didn't film this. So we're doing it now. <laughs> so I am now going to swatch some of the other shades that I have that I think might be kind of close or might just give you an idea of where this new shade sits. So starting off with that new shade, Velvet Bloom. And then we have Velvet Enchantment, which is the lipstick to match the liner that I own. Definitely the closest shade that I found in my collection to the new Bloom, but not a dupe by any means. Then we have Velvet Rain, little lighter and sort of mauvey 
velvet cinnabar, definitely a little more brown in tone. These are the worst swatches ever, I'm so sorry. Then we have Velvet Myth, much more purpley. Velvet Blush, more sort of muted neutral shade. And finally, Velvet Jazz, which is a much richer, deeper red. So I would certainly say the closest to Bloom is Enchantment. It's just not quite so bright. Bloom is a little brighter and leans a little sort of pinkier, whereas Enchantment leads a little more on the sort of brown side of things. But hopefully that gives you an idea. Okay, so there you have it. That is Lisa Eldridge's Velvet Bloom. Stunning as always. Hopefully this has helped you if you're trying to make up your mind as to whether or not you want to pick it up or you need this in your collection or if you have something similar, if you've got a large collection like myself, I really hope this helped. Please let me know if you pick this shade up, how you're using it, how you're wearing it, how you're loving it let me know in the comment section down below. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I'd love to see you in the next one. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye-bye.